Welcome to the tutorial of ProKitchen 9.6 new features. First, if you're familiar with ProKitchen's print templates, they are now customizable and rendered dynamically. Instead of spending hours generating images of doors, finishes, screenshots of floor plans and elevations to display to your client, you can now do it in seconds with dynamic showcase rendering. Everything dynamically appears right into your showcase presentation. To get started, click on the print template icon. You can create a new template, copy an existing template, copy and clear the contents, rename a template, or delete a template. I'm going to start with a new template. Give it a name, or you can't save it. Click OK. I can include the stamp form. I can edit the stamp form directly from this window. I can design and grayscale. I can add or remove the border. For this example, I'm going to turn them all off and click OK. Let's take a look at the toolbar. I can print. I can save to PDF. I can save my template. I can close my template. Everything is saved in a frame called a view. I can create a new view, a comment view, object view. I can delete, undo, redo, display the grid, align the grid, lock or unlock my template, zoom in, zoom out, manually adjust my zoom, move, change ratio. I'm going to start my showcase by adding a logo and a label. Click on add view, right click on the view and I can add a plan view, elevation view, 3D, 3D HD, bill of materials and a custom image. I'm going to click on my logo and click open. I can move that anywhere on the canvas that I want and when I resize it, it automatically adjusts. Next, I'd like to add some text. I'm going to click the comment view. Notice the comment toolbar appears. I can add lines, shapes, or text. I click T for text. I can select an existing comment or I can type a new comment. I can change the font, the font size, the font color, and I can make it bold and italic and click OK. Then I'm going to move my text right below my logo. I'm going to add a nice 3D. I'm going to create my frame, right click, add. I'm going to add a high def 3D, wall view, wall to zero degrees. This does take a while to render. I can maximize it by right clicking on it and zoom to fit. Now I want to add my design. Again, I'm going to create a view. Right click, add, plan view, master. I don't like all those measurement lines. I can clear the view, right click again, add, plan view, no measurements. This is when naming those tabs comes very handy. I can change my ratio, use the mover to center it in my frame. Turn the mover off to move the frame itself. Now I want to show my customer their choices. I can add objects, this time a wall door, renders for a second, and then I place it. Since this is a two color design, I'm going to add both. Move them to arrange them. I have lots of objects I can show. Now I'm going to add my customer's drawer fronts. Again, place, takes a moment to render, and I'm going to add both colors for this too. Position that, and I'm going to go and add the countertop. Notice the frame is red on the object that I'm working with. Now I want to add an elevation. Again, right click, create my view, add elevation, and I'm going to do the stove wall. Again, I can adjust the ratio. and move it into place. Now that I have everything where I want it, I can turn off the frames. Save my template so I can use it again. Save this particular design to PDF. Close my template window. Open my PDF. 
There, my showcase in less than 10 minutes, ready to email to my customer. The advantage of the dynamic showcase templates are that any changes in the design are captured and re-rendered in the template, saving valuable time and money reworking all the customer's changes. I'm going to add a cabinet, pull out this chair, and open up my template. My saved templates are at the bottom. Click OK. In a matter of minutes, it's re-rendered, the cabinet is there, and the chair is pulled out.